Back to Basics, Part 2, Snack Attack. Hey y'all, I'm Amy Morgan. I am the Marketing Coordinator for Pediatric, Dental Associates, and Orthodontics. And welcome to Back to Basics, Part 2. In this video, we're going to be talking about food and drinks. So number one, we want to remind you that we want to try to choose healthy options for their lunches and their snacks. Now we know this can't always be possible and you don't necessarily have control if they eat school lunch of whether or not they're gonna get the extra piece of chocolate cake. We completely understand that. Now if you go back and watch part one of this series, you would know that if they ate that chocolate cake and they were prepared with their travel size items in their backpack, they could immediately brush their teeth but we won't go into that. You can go back and watch the video to get that information. But again, some of this stuff you will not have control over and we completely understand. But what we do want you to know is the things that you do have control over. We want to make sure that you are mindful and thinking of these things as you start to shop. So we wanna make sure they're trying to stay away from extra carbohydrates. This is gonna be your goldfish crackers, your chips, graham crackers, anything that's got that dry chip-like crunch to it. Those carbohydrates can sit on their teeth from the time that they ingest it at lunchtime at 11 a.m. until they see you again at 4 p.m. So you wanna make sure that they are taking the proper kinds of snacks that would not necessarily cause this carbohydrate breakdown that would cause decay. So you wanna maybe substitute that with other things that crunch like carrots or celery or apples. Um, we know that kids love these kinds of snacks and in moderation, that's completely fine. We are just making suggestions for replacements. The other snack that you should be a little leery of are fruit snacks. These are gonna be the gummy fruit snacks, and yes, even the 100% fruit juice ones are bad for their teeth. Now, this is a good option for a quick snack for you busy moms, we completely understand that. But what we also want you to understand is to make sure that they are flossing once they have had these gummy snacks. They will go between the teeth and they are a huge cause of decay among children of young age. So you wanna make sure that if they are eating these gummy fruit snacks, that you are following up with a really good oral hygiene routine at home. The second thing that we wanna make sure that you are looking for whenever you are packing lunches or giving snacks is to make sure you're watching what they drink. We always recommend water as the number one source that they should be drinking just because it's healthy for their mouth but also the rest of their body and it also helps with hydration. We do know that kids love juice boxes and they love Gatorades and those options are okay as well but only in moderation. So you might make sure when they're taking a snack or a lunch that they take water with them so that you understand when you're not with them they're not taking in things that you don't realize they're taking in. We definitely want to make sure that you are not packing any type of energy drinks or sodas for their lunches. Now, every once in a while, if you want them to enjoy a soda or they've done something well and you want to reward them with a soda, that's perfectly fine. But let's make sure when they're ingesting that soda that they are sitting down and completely drinking it in one sitting versus carrying around the cup with them all day and drinking on this soda all day. It actually is not necessarily the frequency that they have it, it's how quickly they ingest it. So if they can drink their milk at a dinner time versus having it in a sippy cup all day, then they're just introducing those um, sugars in the milk in that one sitting versus the sugar being introduced every hour on the hour as they're drinking out of their cup. So you can think about that as sodas as well. We do wanna make sure, again, that you are staying away from energy drinks as a dental office, we just do not recommend those from a health perspective, but also the carbonation and everything that is in them and the amount of sugar that is in them is just not something that should be given to anyone that is a child. Now on the Gatorades, we completely understand, especially athletes love their Gatorades and a good option for Gatorades would be to substitute with the zero sugar Gatorade option. That is a really good option, does not have sugar in it, will still help um, replenish those electrolytes and give them the taste of the Gatorade that they're wanting, but without a lot of sugar. So we do recommend that option for Gatorade replacement. And the third thing that we wanna make sure that we're covering 
is to not allow your child to graze through snacks. So we know that while they're at school, they usually do not have any type of um, just snacks readily available to them. Maybe the younger age children get a snack in the morning and then they get lunch and then maybe an afternoon snack or something like that, but they're not readily able to just go to the refrigerator and start getting whatever they want. So at school, it's a pretty controlled environment. Where we wanna focus is when they're home after school and they do have that option to get into the pantry and get their snacks or get their drink out of the refrigerator, we just wanna make sure they're not grazing the whole time. Now, some parents obviously probably have, you can have a snack at four o'clock because we're gonna have dinner at seven and that's completely fine. We just wanna make sure that they're not constantly going into the refrigerator and the pantry and continually eating a bunch of stuff that could actually harm their teeth. I mean, ob obviously this is something that could come up with even just their overall health of their body, but specifically for their teeth, the more foods and the more things you're introducing that they are eating, it's more likely that they could get a cavity. So you just wanna make sure that they are not grazing throughout the day. And so if you go back to the part where I talked about drinks, it's kind of that same scenario. You don't wanna walk around with milk all day and just be drinking on the milk, it's the same thing. You don't want them to have a bag of chips and just be eating it all day long, okay? So to recap, we wanna make sure that you are choosing healthy snack options and avoiding gummy fruit snacks as much as possible. You also wanna make sure that you're watching what they're drinking and that water is the best choice. And then finally, you wanna make sure that they are not grazing through food or drinks all day long. We do not wanna be introducing food or drinks. This is a very important component to try to prevent cavities.